Hello there. So we're in the month of March and March is Autoimmune Disease Awareness Month. Some of you may already know this, um, but a lot of people are probably not aware of this. So what does that mean? Well, March is the month we're in and we are here to make you aware that there are autoimmune diseases out there that exist that people have and you may not know about so for example i'm going to tell you about ankylosing spondylitis an autoimmune disease um, because that's um what i know most about mainly through experience of having it myself um so what is ankylosing spondylitis well ankylosing spondylitis is a type of arthritis it's an inflam based on inflammation basically so what happens with this disease is your immune system basically attacks itself and the way that your body responds is by inflammation by going rt what i don't like what you're doing mr immune system therefore i am going to inflame the area or an area any area that i feel necessary to make you feel better to try and cure the disease that is attacking you but there is technically it's your immune system that is the disease you can't get rid of your immune system can you no therefore you're in this perpetual state is it perpetual perpetual state of your immune system attacking you your immune system trying to help you but at the same time each of these things fight against each other and your body is fighting itself now all this happens inside the body therefore it's invisible so if you're walking down the street or driving along in your car or riding along in a train or on a bus or whatever else whatever other mode of transport you would not necessarily know that the person sitting next to you may have ankylosing spondylitis or another autoimmune disease therefore it's always worth knowing that these autoimmune diseases exist and there are there's lots of them there's you know i would say in there's they're in the hundreds i couldn't name them all because that would be a long list i'd be here all day but um uh yeah you wouldn't know that these people would be suffering from these things so it's worth being aware so if ever somebody comes up to you and says oh yeah i have um ankylosis spondylitis or i have rheumatoid arthritis or, or or what have you you are aware already of what it is basically it's immune system attacking itself doing naughty things so basically when an autoimmune disease um is present your immune system is not working the way it should and the symptoms of these or the results of these um, can be as um, sometimes as minor as I say minor um, you know the, the lesser symptoms can be like brain fog um, and just kind of like a bit of confusion and stuff like that but then you get to the serious serious debilitating like I'm not saying brain fog isn't debilitating because it can be but um, you've got uh, fatigue but debilitating fatigue I'm not talking tiredness I'm talking fatigue right um, we're talking pain and we're not talking oh that's a bit of pain like acute pain we're talking chronic pain like it's there and it never goes away um, we're talking um, you get the fatigue but you can't sleep um, you get um, uh, inflammation around your body 
which causes your body to let's let's say it's on your knee you know that is a serious problem when you're trying to walk on it you know it causes some serious grief and you know you might not be able to walk properly on it um ankylosing spondylitis itself creates fusion between bones eventually um if left untreated um and um so if you can imagine you know it attacks your spine your hips anywhere else but the spine is kind of like the main one that it seems to kind of want to get um and if you imagine the vertebrae have got like cushions in between them it eats away at the cushion and suddenly all your vertebrae are like that fused together one lump of spine imagine that not very nice is it that's what can happen with ankylosing spondylitis um but there are treatments there to help um uh, to either slow that down or um you know try and slow it down to such a point that you should never really get it but you've got to have the right treatment you've got to have it at the right time you've got to have it before it gets hold of you you know there's all sorts of you know varying factors but let's face it autoimmune diseases are not very nice yeah so we're here to make you aware that they exist and to generally be nice to people who are um, suffering or managing or living with um, uh, autoimmune diseases because generally their life can be hell absolutely hell so be nice um, that's about it really be nice be aware do some research when somebody says oh yeah I've got um, whatever you know so if some if I was come up to you and you're going oh yeah how you doing I won't immediately tell you that I've got ankylosis spondylitis you know it's not the done thing I'll get into conversation once I'm comfortable and something comes up maybe I'll tell you the nice thing would be for you to go and research that or you know ask about it perhaps don't go oh I had a bad back once yeah. not the same or oh yeah 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 I got a you know jippy knee really not the same um, if you've got genuine symptoms of it go and see your doctor there we go but look out for people with um, autoimmune diseases they might need your help simple as that they might need your support support comes in very different ways just a hi how you doing today can mean a hell of a lot um, being nice to somebody um, if you see them struggling you know just uh, just make sure they're okay and that's about it awareness month March we're in it all this month make yourself aware all right see you later